that almost everything the Muslim does is in your Bible. So it's in the Christian Bible. Because in the Holy Bible, mm -hmm. the one that you're holding, yes. we recognize three different that Moses, when he was on Mount Sinai, God spoke to him by shoes from off thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. In respect of that commandment, we Muslims we take our shoes. Before we go in for prayer, we make uh, these commandments that you just spoke of. Yes. Are those commandments also in the Quran, or are they? Hello, guys. You're welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking. Hope you guys are doing great. It's a, it's a pleasure seeing you in person. I've seen you in TV and right, uh, right. in cassettes and everything. Really? Right, right. Uh, I couldn't, I wouldn't want to miss this opportunity. Wow. How about for the benefit of me, because <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> How about in a, a form of introduction? Um, well, uh, my name is Ahmed Didat. Ahmed Didat. Ahmed Didat. Okay. I'm from South Africa. Okay. Yes. And um, I guide visitors to the mosque. One of my jobs in South Africa, India, is to guide tourists to the mosque. Like these people in the cultural center. Mm -hmm. So we have a center that we like visitors to the mosque. And we get a lot of tourists coming along. More than 12,000 a year we handle. So we explain to them the relationship between ourselves and the Jews and the Christians. That almost everything the Muslim does is in your Bible. It's in the Christian Bible. Mm. I don't know whether you've been into a Muslim house of prayer. Have you been? I have. Yes, I have been. Yes. I was in the... Uh, the, the first thing you're made to do is to take off your shoes. <laughs> Except here. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason behind that is that Moses, when he was on Mount Sinai, God spoke to him and he said, Draw not thy hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. In respect of that commandment, we Muslims, we take off our shoes. Before we go in for prayer, we make ablution. All the exposed parts of the body are being washed. The hands, the feet, the nostrils, the nape of the neck, gargling the mouth, brushing the teeth. This the Muslim does five times a day, every day of the year. The one who is particular with his prayers. And purely from the hygienic point of view, no one is going to find fault with the person who washes himself five times a day. It's a good hygienic practice in any country, among any community. You know, washing yourself, brushing your teeth, so five times a day, good hygienic practice. Secondly, it serves certain psychological purposes, meaning mentally it's preparing the person for prayer. He's washing not because he's dirty. He's washing because he's going to meet his Lord. So it creates a mental attitude. Thirdly, this is also another commandment given by God Almighty to the Holy Prophet Moses in the book of Exodus. That is the second book of the Bible. It is written. You don't, you don't mind. No, no, no. In the second book of Exodus, so it reads, And Moses and Aaron and their sons. And Moses and Aaron and their sons washed their hands and the feet they had. When they went into the tent of the congregation, they washed as the Lord commanded Moses. So we Muslim are still fulfilling another biblical commandment. Though we haven't got the label of a Jew, nor yet that of a Christian, yet in our humility we claim that we are more Jewish than the Jews and more Christians than the Christians. In this, that we are trying to follow in the footsteps of the prophets. So this is my line of activity. Mm -hmm. I can and answer people's questions, you know, any question that they have, I answer. Mm -hmm. This is my pastime <coughs> hobby or occupation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's who. Ahmed. 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 And let's All right, you should have told me that this was the author of this, and you know, the fact that this and that's it. I'm buying it. Call me uncle if you are not ashamed. Oh, I'm call not ashamed of anything. So, <laughs> it's easy. Uncle, uncle, I can call you my son. All right, uncle. Yes. All right. Okay, so I take it then you are the author also of. Oh, yes, I'm an author of a number of little booklets. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Mm. Of um, these commandments that you just spoke of, yes. are those commandments also in the Quran to follow? Or are they in the Hadith? No, I wouldn't be able to pinpoint. But you know, we accept that this is what the teaching is. Taking off the shoes is in the Quran. Evolution is also in the Quran. It's in the Quran. That you must wash ourselves. And also in the Bible. You have quoted you have quoted the Bible. Yes. Uh, so I, I would take it then you have you are well read in the Bible. Oh yes. yes. Oh it's a question. I am well read in the Bible. Okay. Yeah. I've never read recipes. I don't. I don't either. <laughs> so I could. I don't uh, think. I wouldn't know what you were challenging with um, a recipe because we never read recipes. I don't. I don't read that. I don't. No. No. If, if, if Mr. Rusty wrote that that kind of vulgarity. Huh. That is what I want. Well, the Britishers and the Americans to know. Well. I, well, well no, no, we don't know. No, no, no. We don't know. I don't know wrote, but I don't no, know the wrote. British and the Americans have been defending him. To say freedom of speech is a right, freedom of speech. Sure. Like you said, now we have freedom to talk, you have a freedom to talk to me. Mm. But, but word, I, I have no right to abuse your mother. <laughs> I have no right to abuse your mother. You don't know, like this freedom, uh, I can call you go man, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. And, well, we talk like that. But now if I start abusing your mother, taking your mother's name, calling her names, man, you have a right to punch it, the, to throw a punch. So in other words, now the guy went to extremes, he told things about us, which hurt us very much. But at the same time, he didn't spare the Americans, he didn't spare the British, he didn't spare the, the black man, he didn't spare any white woman. So, but this is not because the people didn't know. We started crying, so it made people happy. People, you know, who, who are terrified of us, who take that we are a challenge, it made them happy. So I went around a lecture tour of Britain and America and I spoke about how Rushdie fooled the West. How he fooled the West. Well, guess what? I think there's three in here that he didn't fool because we don't know what Rusty is. None of the guys. <laughs> the guys, the fools who said now, you know, you are, you are locked, stuck and you know, you are for him. Mm -hmm. Although. Him. So then so you didn't know if you read and then if you say, no, I don't mind what he says about my mother, or about your mother, about your mother. Sure. Then you have a right to say, look, I said, man, this is nothing. If we call your mother, and he said, no, I have to mean, uh, it didn't hurt my mother. My mother is already dead and she is buried. No, that would be something. You say, no, I call him your mother. And you say, no, I, I, this is a joke, man. It's only a joke. Mm. So that kind of thing. However, that is not our subject. No, that's not our subject. But although I, I wanted to ask, though, yes. do you agree with the... The, um, what is that? They put out a what did they do? Uh, uh, no, the fatwa. The fatwa. Yeah, the fatwa. In uh, from Iran. No, it's actually biblical. That fatwa is actually in your holy Bible. Do you know that? What do you mean fatwa? What do you mean by that? Fatwa, the decree of death. The decree of death. The decree of death. The sound, yeah. sound and rusty. Oh, for mm -hmm. blasphemy. Yes, 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 yes. That's in your Holy Bible. Yes. Did you know that? Do you know that? Why are you oh, blasphemy. That? Yeah, blasphemy definitely is in death, death or blasphemy. Go. In your Bible. Oh, sure, definitely. Sure. Blasphemy. Right, so, so it's biblical. See, what Homin is supposed to have said or a decree has passed is in the Holy Bible. That is biblical. Unless you say you don't accept that. You don't accept the Bible as the word of God, then it's different. But if you accept it as the word of God, it's binding on you and me. Now I believe that. <laughs> 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 I believe that. <laughs> now, that, 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 now, we, that we, now we're at a point where we can probably discuss. Because I do believe that it is binding upon us. Yes. Yes. Now, you read it in the Bible. It's binding upon us. Now, you read it, but obviously I don't think you take it as being binding upon you. It depends on that, you see, because in the Holy Bible, mm -hmm. the one that you're holding, yes. we recognize three different types of evidences. Three different types of evidences. We find one type of evidence will be recognized as the word of God. You know the statements that I made. For example, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. 
in Greece. I will raise them at a profit. Yes. I, I will raise them at a profit. Yes. From among the brethren, like unto thee, like you. Like unto you. Like Moses. Moses. And I will put my words in his mouth. That's right. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Yes. Well, that was a beautiful one, guys. I love the fact that Amedida spoke in a very calm manner, explaining to them, and it was a peaceful, and I won't say this is a debate, so this is a peaceful question and answer section. They asked Amedida a question about his religion, and he answered quite well, very, very well, and that was so beautiful to watch. Like, he spoke about the foundation of Islam, why they wash their hands, they wash their feet, and it's because it's also found in the Bible. It's found in Exodus, the Old Testament. So that's why Muslims always say they are more Christians than Christians themselves. I never knew, like, I've come across reverse before, but I never pay attention to the fact that that's where they got that thing from. They got that lifestyle from. I never knew that that's how it came about. I was always wondering why is that Muslims like to wash their hands, wash their feet, you know, put off their slippers. Why? I thought it was only seen in Quran, but I just remember that there's something like that in the Bible. And like they always say, Moses is a prophet. So it all started from the time of Moses. You know, it was through Moses this thing came about, the cabal. So it's also through Moses they got. So I think most of the things Muslim does in their religion. It started from doing Moses' time. It started from that time. And I love how the discussion was very smooth, interesting, you know, relaxing. And one of the soldiers asked him that, can you find it also in the Quran, the same way you quoted it from the Bible that, oh, this is the reason why Muslims wash their hand, their feet, their leg, you know. And he said, yes, you can also find it there in the Quran. Because he said, is it Quran or add it to Quran? And that was a beautiful one. So they went on and on talking about Islam, the beauty of Islam. I mean, that also proved to the soldiers why Quran is the word of God. The fact that they were able to follow the things written in the Quran and you can also relate it to what is in the Bible. And he also quoted one particular verse of the Bible. That's Deuteronomy 18 verse 18 saying that I will raise them up a prophet among them. So in this aspect, the prophet that Muslims believe the Bible is referring to is Prophet Muhammad. And we will put my words in, in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. So for the Bible to talk about prophets, in which they indicate that that should be Prophet Muhammad, that's to say that even the Bible confirmed that, you know, Quran is the word of God and Islam is the true, is one and only true religion. That was a very beautiful one. I liked a lot from this video. I don't know about you, but I liked a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.